Hello beautiful, so this video is actually going to be me getting ready for the rodeo. So there's always a rodeo here in Houston, Texas. It's the whole month of March and I always try to make it because, you know, some of my favorite artists come here because I'm a country girl. I love country music girl. I love country. It's one of my favorite music genres, stuff like that. And I'm so excited to go this year because some of my favorite people are coming and it's kind of their first time coming here to Houston for the rodeo. And just I need to start rambling and this is the look that I came up with and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. What I'm going to do today is just play around with some makeup and I'm going to probably vlog um, the rodeo and how it is over here down in the south. It is very fun and there's a carnival, um, lots of games, food, um, you name it. It's so much fun. So the first thing that I usually take is my Smashbox primer water. Um, I just want to prime my skin because, you know, out in the rodeo it's very, it's hectic, it's crazy. Okay, and the foundation I'm using today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect in number 4 medium beige. I was actually considering getting number 5 as well and mixing them because this one, I feel like it's a little bit light on me. And I'm going to recommend this sponge because I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and I love it. It's so good. It's affordable. The only thing that uh, is a drawback is that it's only available online. And this one's the NYX. What is it called? Just the NYX um, Beauty Sponge, I believe. Okay, so now that our foundation's on, um, just by the way, like this foundation is so good for combo to oily skin girls because I even texted my friends how good it was and I recommended it to them because it's that good. I really loved it. So the next product I'm going to use to set my actual foundation is the Cover FX Pressed Powder and I used the shade medium. I actually did a review on this that you can go watch if you would like. And it just gives you more information over the product. So just put a little bit on my brush and just set my face a tad bit. What I love about both of these, the powder and the liquid, it just makes your skin look so pretty. Just letting you know I'm not a big foundation person. When it comes to this, I love it. So, And I'm not touching this because I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on. And the one I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in 25 medium. Okay, so this concealer really brightens and I love that about it. Um, I'm going to set it with the NYX uh, HD Finishing Powder in Banana. And this one's very great as well. It's a very thin powder. It's not a thick kind of powder, if that makes any sense. Like, it's very thin, as you can see right here. You don't see a bunch of powder coming off or things like that. Okay, so my good friend Nicole actually recommended this NYX contour palette. And since NYX was having a buy one get one free at Ulta, I decided to pick this up. I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques blush brush, but you can use this brush for anything that you would like. So I'm going to be taking the shade. This is actually really pretty, just from the first impression. It's a little bit powdery, but she kind of warned me about that, so that's okay. And this is very affordable, by the way. It's 25 bucks, but um, if you just wait on, you know, drugstore sales, you're going to be good. So the next uh, bronzer I'm going to use is the Ambient Lighting Powder Bronzant Lumiere. Uh, radiant bronze light so I actually got this um, every year I decide to um, purchase high-end makeup like if I have anything on my wish list that's very high-end I always purchase it on my birthday because 
your girl is a little bit crazy. So I purchased this for my 21st birthday. So what I like about buying things like this on, you know, special occasions is that I go back to it and know when I bought it, you know? So, and this makes you look so bronzy and glowy. Like you were kissed by angels kind of look. Isn't that nice? So now I'm just going to move on to my eyes because I usually don't always wear blush. It's not one of my favorite products on the face. Um, I'll see later on if I want to apply blush, but I am a huge fan of Kat Von D. I've actually watched LA Inc. and all that good stuff, and I always thought she was a cool chick, like straight up. And I actually never purchased anything from her makeup line, and... I'm very happy I finally did and I had you know this a part of my wish list and I was able to pick it up and it is the Cap on D shade and light eye palette and these colors are so pretty um, I've already used it and they blend out very well they're very creamy kind of matte shades so just letting you know they're pretty damn amazing sorry for my language <laughs> But it's that good. Um, so I am going to be taking Latinus, which is just a transition shade. And I'm going to put that um, in my crease. So, by the way, if you shop at Ross or anything like that, and sometimes you go to the beauty tools or anything like that, um, I was able to pick up this little set from Eco Tools that you can travel with. Um, I actually had five, but I can't find the other one. I guess I lost it when I was washing all my brushes. Um, but you can find little things like this, like Eco Tools and stuff like that. So much more affordable there. Just a little tip. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this rose gold metal, something like that, brush set. And this one's number 5 by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to be taking this really pretty brick color right there. And it's called Lucius. Lucius? It's not Luscious. It's Lucius, I think. I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner. So, um, I just remember right now, but I wanted to mention that um, I recently made a video over my makeup passion and I just wanted y'all to get to know me a little bit more and what I love, how it all started and stuff. Please go check out that video because um, that was actually one of those videos that I was super excited to uh, film and stuff because it is near and dear to my heart and... I would love if y'all saw that. I'm gonna leave the actual video in the description box and that's where you can find all the other videos that I might suggest. Just letting you know that because I really loved that video because it, hit, it hits home kind of thing. It makes me remember my passion, my love for cosmetics and you know all this good stuff so Okay, so I picked this up as the second item from the little haul I had from Ulta. I want to actually keep this very beautiful and bronze. Just look at the pigmentation for one of them. So good. So I'm going to be applying this on my lid, and it's this shade right here. Just going to take this Eco Tools large eye brush. So now that I applied that to my lid, I'm going to actually bring that um, brick color down on my lower lash line to, you know, balance it all out. Okay, so um, the last part I'm going to do for this eye look is um, add this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper. And I'm just going to add that to my inner corner. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I applied some eyeliner and some mascara. And the eyeliner I applied was the Smashbox Always Sharp in Penny Lane to my waterline. And I applied, I'm excessive again, um, <laughs> I applied three mascaras. I applied the, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, the Maybelline 
Colossal Big Shot, and a little bit of the Essence Forbidden Volume. Okay, um, so I'm going to be finishing off my face, and I'm going to be taking the Milani um, Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in number 3 Sun Glow. In the rodeo, I'm sure you can see everything with all the lights and all that stuff, so I'm going to keep this kind of natural looking. The actual lip color I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild 915B Spiked with Rum, which I want to be. I'm just kidding. No, I don't. I don't like rum. Okay. And the best thing in the world um, is this Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mist. And this stuff is amazing. I'm clearly right here. And I've already repurchased it just to have a backup. But um, I discovered this by myself. And now I see it a lot of places on YouTube. So... Just letting you know this is my final look for the day it's something very i feel like it's very country it's just very classic very warm toned so i hope you enjoyed this video please check out those videos i recommended until next time i will see you then bye